Good morning and welcome to Bible in Ears. As today we are on day 284 of 365 days as we're going through the most holy Bible. Uh, we're going through the New International Version. Uh, today we are going to be talking about um, Proverbs uh, in the uh, series of the Maccabean Revolt. Um, yeah, we are, we are heading through the inter- um, testamental readings, uh, those in between the Old and New Testament. Uh, but for this reading, we're just going to be doing Proverbs chapters 22, verses 5 to 8. Proverbs 22, verse 6, we read, Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. Laying a foundation of virtue is vitally important. Many of our laws are rooted in the Bible. Our nation can either choose to build on the biblical foundations or abandon them. My hope for you is that you build upon them and that you learn deeply about these words in 22 verses 5 to 8. Let us, let us read. In the path of the wicked lie thorns and snares, but he who guards his soul, his soul stays far from them. Train a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not turn from it. The rich rule over the poor, and the borrower is servant to the lender. He who sows wickedness reaps trouble, and the rod of his fury will be destroyed. Here ends our first reading. So we see here that there are many paths, um, that both in the beginning in verse 5 and in verse 8, we see paths. One where the wicked lay that has thorns and snares. In verse 8, again, um, a path where sowed trouble and destruction is what becomes of it. So we don't want either of those type of paths. We don't want one that's laid by the wicked and brings about trouble or one that's laid by the wicked and brings about thorns and snares because both of them uh, end in destruction. Um, and how do we do that? Well, in verse 5 it says we must guard person's soul stay away from them people are wicked in their line things that are going to cause us to stumble we are to guard our souls against them and stay far away from them we don't need to entertain uh, wickedness um, but what we should do what is the answer what we should do in um, instead of laying paths of thorns and snares and trouble well to train our children in the ways of God and that they won't turn away from it. If we teach kids early enough, if we lay a foundation early enough of what kind of paths they should be going down, uh, then even if they do get caught in the snares at times, even if they stumble, even if they may uh, reap trouble at times um, and, and be close to destruction, um, it says when he is old, he will not turn from it. And so... Um, we can we can pray that when we instill these uh, kingdom virtues for our children, that uh, they will carry them all the rest of their lives. And that it's, as it says in verse 7, the rich rule over the poor and the borrow is servant to the lender. Um, so, I mean, what, what it's telling us about here is that we should... Uh, even if we're poor or uh, um, a borrower, that uh, that it says that they, the borrower is a servant to the lender. Poor is ruled over by the rich. Um, but that doesn't last forever. Uh, we'll see we'll see later in Solomon's readings. Um, that that doesn't last forever. Um, to some extent, riches mean nothing, and and being able to lend is nothing. Um, what matters most of all is that we walk in the ways of God, and that we train our children up in the ways of God, because that's what brings true wealth and riches. Um, when we train, when we train. Um, our children in the ways of God, 
we end up guarding their soul um, from evil. And that matters far more than anything else, than any gold or silver or any money that we can be lended or not be lended. What matters most and above all is that we turn to God and we give God all our glory, uh, our strength, um, uh, our loyalty, our obedience. Because nothing on this earth uh, can separate us from the love of God and the communion that we can have with God, not just in the everlasting, in his kingdom, but we can have that joy today. Um, when we lean upon God and his understanding, he can fill our hearts and minds um, in his joy, his love, his peace, his patience, his kindness, all those, all those fruits of the Spirit. May we ever strive for the gifts of God, for the fruits of the Spirit, and for the greater gifts of God that we're going, that uh, that we hear about throughout places like Ephesians and Corinthians and Romans. Um, the gifts of God, um, the gifts of mercy, uh, the gifts of healing. Uh, maybe aspire, and it says for more than anything, aspire um, to the apostles to be apostles and to be prophets. Uh, to, so that we might go into the world, speak God's good news, and tell others um, in comfort and love about the love of God. Uh, let us give thanks to God through prayer. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly God, as we go through your your wisdom literature, especially here in Proverbs, we, uh, we just learn that we are to not entertain sin. We are not to walk in the ways of the wicked. Um, to get caught in the thorns and the snares or the troubles that befall them, but that we walk in your ways, that we avoid those paths and we go far from them, and that we might not only we might avoid those paths, but that we teach the little ones um, about the ways they must go as well, in order so that they might not fall in the pitfalls and the snares and the troubles of this world, but that they might prepare themselves uh, and equip themselves for the next world uh, that they might live out the kingdom principles so here in the now they might enjoy your grace and your love your joy and your peace and that that might continue from now to everlasting we thank you for the gifts that you have given us your love that you have poured upon us may we ever um, be filled with this love of christ in jesus name we pray amen thank you for joining me today this Bible in here on this day 284. May you have a blessed day. And may I just ask that you would pray for me as we go through this, that I continue to have the motivation and the strength to keep going, and that I might not falter uh, in my readings. And I just pray for you that you might grow in the fear and wisdom and the understanding of God, and that as you read these words, that you might understand why it's so important. Uh, to have God in your life. Why it's so important to be filled with the peace and joy of the Lord. Because that's just not something that's good for us in the future, but right here and now. That as we transform a little bit of kingdom on earth, that we might be able to enjoy that with our friends and our families and those we love. We thank you for all that. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.